So let's begin with gene therapy. So what is gene therapy? The basic principle of gene therapy is that the intrinsic expression of certain genes in our body can be modified to treat disease. So there is a patient who has a disease. You have to treat the disease. Now this is a genetic disease. Now to treat a genetic disease, of course, there is no role of any I mean, of course, medical therapy and surgical therapy will only combat with the clinical presentation. But can it treat the cause? It cannot treat the cause. So if you have to treat the genetic cause, how are you going to treat the genetic cause? By doing a thing called as gene therapy. So the basic principle of gene therapy is to modify the expression of gene that is responsible for causation of a genetic disease. So here, what do we do? Here we are replacing a defective gene. If a gene in a patient is defective, we are replacing it with a functional gene. If there is a reduced expression, we are increasing the baseline expression. Or if the patient is having or if you have to suppress the gene because of increased expression, you are suppressing. So either you are replacing the gene or you are enhancing the expression or you are suppressing the expression. So these are the three ways of how you are going to use gene therapy in treatment of patients with genetic diseases. Now as the field of gene therapy continues to have a lot of rapid advancements, it is likely that gene therapy will eventually become the standard of clinical regimen for both internists and surgeons. So today we are not having so many diseases that are treated with gene therapy. But eventually over a period of time, we are going to watch and see that gene therapy will become one of the primary modalities of treatment in the future.